Hello, and welcome to our video on John Rawls's A Theory of Justice. In this book, Rawls sets out to develop a theory of justice that would be fair to all members of society, no matter their individual circumstances. He begins by imagining a hypothetical situation he calls the original position. In this scenario, a group of people come together to create a society, but they do so from behind a veil of ignorance. This means that they don't know anything about their own individual characteristics, such as their race, gender, or social class. Rawls argues that in this original position, the rational actors would choose principles of justice that would be the most fair to everyone. He believes that these principles would be based on the idea of maximum, meaning that they would choose the principles that would maximize the minimum benefits for all members of society. Rawls then goes on to outline two principles of justice that he believes would be chosen in the original position. The first principle is the principle of equal liberty, which states that every person has an equal right to the most extensive basic liberties, compatible with the same liberties for others. The second principle is the principle of fair equality of opportunity, which states that social and economic positions should be open to all, and that those who are similarly qualified should have an equal chance to attain them. Rawls also discusses the concept of distributive justice, which refers to the fair distribution of goods and resources within a society. He argues that a society that follows the principles of justice outlined in a theory of justice would be a society in which goods and resources are distributed in a way that is both to the benefit of the least advantaged members of society and consistent with the principles of equal liberty and fair equality of opportunity. In summary, A Theory of Justice is a book that sets out to develop a theory of justice that is fair to all members of society, no matter their individual circumstances. Rawls argues that the principles of equal liberty and fair equality of opportunity, chosen in the original position of the veil of ignorance, are the most fair and just principles for organizing a society. He also discusses the concept of distributive justice and how it relates to the fair distribution of goods and resources within a society.